Hi Techies and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will take a look at how can we create a SharePoint online site using PNP PowerShell. If you have not gone through the previous videos on how to install the PNP PowerShell and connect to SharePoint online, I would recommend you to go ahead and watch those videos and then resume from here. So let's get started. Now first, let's connect to the tenant. So to connect to the tenant using PNP, we will use connect PNP online URL https://admin.sharepoint.com slash or credential and then get credential. This will ask the credentials. Okay, we misplaced the letter S. Now we should be good. So let's apply the username. Okay, it should ask for the password. Okay, and now it should connect to the tenant. All right, now we are connected to the tenant. So it's now time to create a new SharePoint online site. So to do that, we will say new PNP tenant site. Okay, and then we will see URL https call, call, dot sharepoint.com slash sites slash I'm going to go for sales. That's the URL. Then we also need an honor. So let me go ahead and put my ID. Then let's also provide the title. The title is the sales team site. Let's also provide the template. Template is SDS hash three. That's the modern team site. And then we also need time zone and let's provide 24, which is for India. All right, so let's go ahead, hit enter. And this ideally should create the new team site. And there we have it. We do not have the error. So what that means is we should have the team site created. All right, let's go ahead and try to grab this URL. Okay, and now if you see the URL, it is created with the modern team site. If you would like to create the classic team site, just replace STS3 with STS0. That stands for the classic team site. Similarly, you can explore the other template like communication site and provide it to create the new communication site. Now, if you would like to get the site, you can also use get ENP tenant site and you can provide identity which should be the site URL provide that hit enter and you will see we also have now got the PNP tenant site as well if you would like to delete the site then you will have to use remove PNP tenant site you provide the URL and let's provide the URL it asks for the confirmation. Do you want to remove this? We will say yes, and it will remove the site. And as you can see, we have got the problem back. We will see the error message, the file not found because the site has now been deleted. If you would like to work with the bulk site creation, you can create a CSV file with the required columns and you can provide the values on those columns. You can read those CSV file values and then you can create all the sites in bulk. I hope this simple example helped you to understand how can you create the new SharePoint online site, how can you get the site as well as how can you remove this site using PNP PowerShell. I thank you for watching the video.